Tight line, trout line, sitting on a pipeline, waiting for the sun to shine. Snap beans, red beans, cornbread and mustard greens, that's how we live and it sure feels fine. Well, you can't change us, that's the way we know. Cajun people live like they did long ago. So join the fun, live off the land, cause there ain't nothing better than a Louisiana man. Line, trap line, sitting on a pipeline, waiting for the sun to shine. Snap beans, red beans, cornbread, mustard greens, that's how we live, and it sure feels fine. Welcome to Cajun Living and Cooking. My name's Rodney Dupree. I got my buddy Kyle Blanchard with me here this morning. We're at the Galvez Hardware Store. We're cooking a brown spaghetti. We're cooking a spicy corn mock shoe. We eating some raw oysters. We grilling some oysters. So Cajun living and cooking is fixing to start right about now. All right, y'all. Here we go with the brown spaghetti. Now, uh, Kyle, Kyle's been making this season. How long you been making this, Kyle? I uh, started making it about maybe 2002, 2003. Yeah. Uh, just what, what made you get into the seasoning business? Well, one day I like to cook a lot. You know, me and my buddy over there. We used to get done fishing in the uh, spillway all the time. We come home. We and we cook, yeah. And uh, come up with all kinds of different recipes, and then finally I, I said, "Well, let me go ahead and try to make my own seasoning." And then I uh, just thought of what I normally put in a stew and stuff like that. Yeah. So I, I I put it on there, I put it all together, and did it by the measurements, and saw, and I was like, hmm, "Needs a lot more salt." Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was, it was a, the salt content was a lot different than what I. I expected it to be. Yeah. So I ended up putting, I doubled my salt. When my partner told me to uh, put more salt, and then I was like, that was it. It was it. It come out perfect. Gotcha. You know, so you don't have to it. add salt with your seasoning. No, at you all. don't have to add salt with the seasoning. It's, okay. it's. So this is really a recipe that y'all just tried and tried and tried and finally come up with the right yeah. stuff. It took me two times to do it. Gotcha. Gotcha. Now no. you've been selling it for what you saying since '04? No, I, I just I made it for myself, uh, friends and family and stuff like that. Gotcha. Giving it to people around Pia Park and, and different areas, and uh -huh. uh, I ended up uh, putting it on the market in October. October is when I put it in the market. Gotcha. October of uh, tw uh, this year. Yeah. Gotcha. Last year. Gotcha. All right. Look I've been us. I've been using it and it's been doing pretty good. Uh, tell you what. Now you've got this in different places out in the in the Central Parish. You can get it in Pier Park. Yes, I got it in uh, Livingston Parish, uh, East Baton Rouge Parish, West Baton Rouge, Iberville Parish, Assumption, Terrebonne. And you got Saint a website Eric. too, huh? Got a website called BlanchardsBlend.com. You go in there. And I got recipes. We're in the works right now at the uh, website, so you can uh, go there, and we're gonna have more recipes on there. And I have a Facebook play page. You can go like my Facebook page and check out all the stuff, the stores, where it's at, and other things like that. All right. Well, that's cool. We're going we're gonna to spice this up. We're going to get the meat brown, and we're going to move on with this brown spaghetti. All right, y'all. The other dish we're cooking is a spicy corn mock shoe. Now, I took some tasso and chopped up the tasso down in a little bite size, which is already cooked. It's just going to add a smoky flavor to it. And the mock shoe is corn and tomatoes. So I got a couple big old cans of corn and a big old can of tomatoes. And that's corn mock shoe. I learned this over in Livingston. Really good dish. It'll go well with the brown spaghetti. A lot of corn, a lot of tomatoes. I think we're gonna need some Blanchard seasoning up in here. All right, Kyle, this is the secret sauce we got for the oysters here, huh? Yeah, this is uh, what I like to do. I like to put the uh, four sticks of butter in there uh -huh. and to get it going, melt down some butter. Yeah. And then we're going to end up putting, we're going to put minced garlic, uh -huh. lemon juice, and, uh, and then the Worcestershire sauce. All right. Now, uh, what we call this, the Blanchard butter blend? Blanchard, yeah, we could call it Blanchard butter sauce. Oyster sauce. Oyster here. sauce that goes perfect. Goes perfect with these grilled oysters. 
That's real butter too. That's real That's butter. That's not margarine. That's the unsalted stuff. butter. Yeah. So we're gonna use butter, Worcestershire, minced garlic, lemon juice, and Blanchard seasoning. And green onions. Oh, and the green onions. Can't forget the the little uh almost garnish, but still adds a little flavor to it. Right. All right, so we're gonna melt this down, add all the ingredients. We're gonna be tasting oysters here in just a minute. All right, what I just did there, I got the butter to melt. I put half of this jar of the minced garlic. Now I'm gonna put a little bit of Worcestershire sauce, about a tablespoon, and the same thing with the with the lemon juice. Ain't gotta put too much. Cook this down a little bit. You just simmer it down for a little while. Ain't gotta be too long. Smells great. Add a little bit of green onions to it. Once you let this simmer for about 15 minutes or so, it's gonna be ready. You can shut the fire off. All right, Kyle, tell me how you do it. All right, after we're done, let this cool down a little bit. We got the little butter lemon sauce here uh -huh. with the garlic and the uh, green onions. What we're doing is we're gonna put ladle, a little bit on top of each one. Uh huh. And then we're gonna... Uh, now, after you put it on there, that you'll sprinkle your seasoning on? Yes, I, I do sprinkle my seasoning. And that'll be re they'll be ready for the grill then? No, we're going to have to put the cheese on after. Ah, the secret ingredient. Okay. That smells really good, man. That smells really good. That real butter, the garlic, and then you can smell a hint of that Worcestershire in there. I know when your spice gets on there, it's going to be just right. Yeah, once we got them all. You got a little bit like on that. every one. Go ahead, sprinkle the, sprinkle the Blanchard's blend on it. Uh-huh. What I got here is Parmesan and uh, Romania cheese. Six uh, cheese, Italian yeah. cheese, and a regular mild cheddar. Yes. And that's gonna be the kicker on there. Oh, yeah. Ain't gonna put a whole lot, just a little something here. Yeah. Now, when the cheese is on, it'll be ready for the grill. Yes, it will be. All right, we got the grill heating up. Maybe we can get a close up of these oysters before we can, uh, before we put them on the grill. Stay tuned, we'll be right back. Marlin's Pizza has two great locations, one in Prairieville and one in Santa Mo. Dine in, carry out, or delivery. That's right, y'all. Seafood delivered free to your home or business. Shrimp, oysters, catfish, and frog legs. They also have po' boys, spaghetti, fried pickles, homemade onion rings, salads, and 100% pure beef burgers. Marlin's Pizza dough is made fresh every day. And this is the only place you can find the La Mex Pizza. And oh yeah, y'all. Don't forget about that seafood muffalata. Junior's Meat Market has everything you need when you're going to the camp. Groceries, fresh produce, beer, hoghead cheese, hot or mild, hot cracklings, and ice. Homemade smoked sausage, mild or hot, daily and weekly meat specials. 21 day aged steaks. We can also process your deer. Come on down to Junior's Meat Market and check us out. Have you ever run out of money before your next paycheck? Car quit running? Electric bill due? Time to pay rent? If so, call Quick Cash of Gonzales. Let Kim Cruz Paraloo get you back on track with a payday loan. 
Quick Cash has been giving $50 to $300 loans since 1996. Most loans are approved in 15 minutes or less. Family-owned, fast and friendly service. Remember, when you need cash quick, call Quick Cash. Located in LeBlanc's Plaza near AutoZone on Burnside. Just when you thought you had the best, there's better. The new Hustler Raptor, heavy-duty welded steel deck, professional-grade cut quality, premium Kawasaki power, all from just $27.99. The new Raptor series from Hustler, tools, not toys. Come get your Raptor Super Duty today at Gotro's Lawn and Garden in Gonzales. Galvez Hardware and Outdoor Cooking is two unique stores in one. The hardware department has everything you need to fix stuff right. The outdoor cooking section cannot be beaten. We have all the latest and greatest gadgets on the market. But also, we keep a large stock of the tried and tested cookware we've all come to love over the years. Coffee and biscuits every morning during the week, cooking demos on Saturdays, and customer service that will help you get the job done. Dana, we have a flat. That's okay, Weezer. We'll just call Ed's Tire Service. Ed's Tire Service has been in business for 27 years. It's a 24-hour roadside service for on-site repairs. No job is too big or too small. So remember, when you're having tire trouble, Ascension Troll and Motor is owned and operated by Carl Singletary, offering the only Minn Kota Warranty Service Center in Ascension Parish. He not only works on all makes and model motors, but offers pickup and delivery. If you can't take it out of the water, he'll come to you. On-site boat lift, boat trailer repair, small fiberglass work, and gel coats. He sells refurbished motors, parts, and accessories. He's also a certified welder and mechanic. Here at Ascension Troll and Motors, our mission is to keep you fishing. Hole in the Wall Seafood is your one-stop shop for all your seafood needs. With seasoning, sauces, dips, and trays. Local A Meat River Catfish when in season. Dungeness Crab, Shrimp, Frog Legs, Soft Shell Crabs, Alligator, Scallops, and Fresh Cooked Cracklings. Crawfish season is now in full swing. Come by and get them. Live or bought. With prices that can be beat. At Hole in the Wall Seafood. Welcome back to Cajun Living and Cooking. All right, Kyle, tell us what we're doing. All right, what we're going to do is we're going to place these oysters. We're going to put them close to the fire as possible because uh -huh. you want to heat them real good. It only takes about five minutes, and they're going to be uh, finished. So what we're going to do, okay, about to burn our hands. <laughs> that looks really good. They're sizzling already. Now, uh, this is some of the stuff you can get in some of them gourmet restaurants here that right. are fire grilled oysters. Now, where do these oysters come from? Uh, I bought them at uh, Addis Seafood. Yeah? Right like on Highway 1 in Addis. Oh, in, uh, gotcha. Gotcha. Ring of fire. That looks good. Boy, and the smell coming off of there. I can smell that garlic and that lemon. So about five minutes, huh? About five minutes. You're gonna leave the shut top shut. All right. All right, Kyle, it's been five minutes. All right, what we're doing is staking them off right now. Man, that looks good. Watch that. See how they start to curl like that? Yeah, the ends are starting to, that's when you know they just right. I guess if you cook it too long, it'll dry out. Yeah. yeah. And, and if you I don't do cook it. it enough, you'll still be cold yeah. in the middle. Ooh. Sure. Yes, indeed.
All right, bro, I can't wait any longer. We got to try one Go of ahead. these, man. We got to try this. That is really awesome looking. I got a big one. You hot? Mm -mm. Done. You can taste, you can taste the butter. You can taste the garlic. I taste your seasoning in there. That's perfect. It's got everything you need right there. All right, y'all. What I'm cooking here is a brown spaghetti. Now, a brown spaghetti, the recipe comes from my grandma. It's uh, it's before they invented pasta laia, actually. Uh, a brown spaghetti. It, you cook the noodles on the side, you make a brown gravy and you cook the noodles on the side and you end up putting everything back in there. So, so what I've got now, I've got my temple meat cooked down. I got 12 pounds of temple meat that I cooked down and I'm gonna add 10 pounds of sausage to it. My temple meat's just about browned down pretty good but I'm gonna go ahead and put my sausage in there with it. Um, I pre-cut the sausage up, took a few minutes. Now what, uh, what I'll do is I'll brown the sausage down a little with the temple and then we're gonna pull that out. And then I'll add my onions and bell pepper in there and which then the roux will come. So let's get the meat brown first. That's a whole lot of sausage going in there. All right, we'll get all this brown. We'll pull that out and put the onions in. All right, y'all, we got all the meat brown down now. And what I normally do is I'll take all the meat out. Sausage and the, and the temple meat. You wanna dump the onions in? All right. We're gonna add the onions in there now. We caught them yesterday. Freshly cut, boy, you can smell that coming out of there. All right, y'all, got the onions starting to brown down. And I picked up some bell pepper already cut. Saved about 15 minutes off my life on that. Put the bell pepper in with the onions. Get them to brown down, and the next step will be adding a roux in there. And what we'll make is a good old brown gravy. So hang tight, it's coming. All right, now I, I got the onions and the bell peppers and the garlic smothered down. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add this whole jar of roux. A lot of people sit there and make their own roux or whatever they wanna do, but uh, this is just a, a dark roux that you can buy in the store. So I'm gonna put the whole jar in there. All right, I put the jar of roux in there, and I've got some, uh, I use golden mushroom. You can use regular mushroom, but I got golden mushroom, and I got some cream of mushroom, too. I'm gonna put two cans of golden and a big can of uh, regular mushroom. That'll just add a little flavor and thicken it up also. So really, you're just making a brown gravy and adding your noodles back to it. All right, and what you want to do after you get your roux and your cream of mushroom and all in there, you're going to bring it up to the right consistency. And then you're going to add some green onions in there and you're going to check for flavor. Get your salt and pepper right and then it'll be time to add the noodles. Stay tuned, we'll be right back. Galvez Hardware and Outdoor Cooking is two unique stores in one. The hardware department has everything you need to fix stuff right. The outdoor cooking section cannot be beaten. We have all the latest and greatest gadgets on the market. But also, we keep a large stock of the tried and tested cookware we've all come to love over the years. Coffee and biscuits every morning during the week, cooking demos on Saturdays, 
customer service that will help you get the job done. Dana, we have a flat. That's okay, Weezer. We'll just call Ed's Tire Service. Ed's Tire Service has been in business for 27 years. It's a 24-hour roadside service for on-site repairs. No job is too big or too small. So remember, when you're having tire trouble, Ascension Troll and Motor is owned and operated by Carl Singletary, offering the only Minn Kota warranty service center in Ascension Parish. He not only works on all makes and model motors, but offers pickup and delivery. If you can't take it out of the water, he'll come to you. On-site boat lift, boat trailer repair, small fiberglass work, and gel coats. He sells refurbished motors, parts, and accessories. He's also a certified welder and mechanic. Here at Ascension Troll and Motors, our mission is to keep you fishing. Hole in the Wall Seafood is your one-stop shop for all your seafood needs. With seasoning, sauces, dips, and trays. Local way meat river catfish when in season. Dungeness crab, shrimp, frog legs, soft shell crabs, alligator, scallops, and fresh cooked cracklings. Crawfish season is now in full swing. Come by and get them. Live or bald. With prices that can be beat. At Hole in the Wall Seafood. Marlin's Pizza has two great locations, one in Prairieville and one in Santa Mall. Dine in, carry out, or delivery. That's right, y'all. Seafood delivered free to your home or business. Shrimp, oysters, catfish, and frog legs. They also have po' boys, spaghetti, fried pickles, homemade onion rings, salads, and 100% pure beef burgers. Marlin's Pizza dough is made fresh every day. And this is the only place you can find the La Mex Pizza. And oh yeah, y'all. Don't forget about that seafood muffalata. Junior's Meat Market has everything you need when you're going to the camp. Groceries, fresh produce, beer, hoghead cheese, hot or mild, hot cracklings, and ice. Homemade smoked sausage, mild or hot, daily and weekly meat specials. 21 day aged steaks. We can also process your deer. Come on down to Junior's Meat Market and check us out. Have you ever run out of money before your next paycheck? Car quit running? Electric bill due? Time to pay rent? If so, call Quick Cash of Gonzales. Let Kim Cruz Paraloo get you back on track with a payday loan. Quick Cash has been giving $50 to $300 loans since 1996. Most loans are approved in 15 minutes or less. Family owned, fast and friendly service. Remember, when you need cash quick, call Quick Cash. Located in LeBlanc's Plaza near AutoZone on Burnside. Just when you thought you had the best, there's better. The new Hustler Raptor, heavy duty welded steel deck. Professional grade cut quality, premium Kawasaki power, all from just $27.99. The new Raptor series from Hustler, tools, not toys. Come get your Raptor Super Duty today at Gotro's Lawn and Garden in Gonzales. All right, y'all, we tasted it. We got the brown gravy all seasoned up. We put the green onions in there. What we're gonna do is add the meat back to it now. Without getting it on us. Yeah. What we got in there? Getting Good. them all out? Good. All right. Now we got the meat in. We're gonna let that sit around a while. We're gonna taste it one more time to see if the flavor's right. And then we're going to add our macaroni to it. Alright, the difference in a brown spaghetti and a pastalaya is, in a pastalaya you put the noodles in your sauce. Now a brown spaghetti, which I was taught years and years ago, 
you cook your noodles on the side and then you incorporate them all together. So that's how we're gonna do it here. Brown spaghetti style. And I usually spill at least one bag when I'm opening these too. All right, we got the meat in there. We taste for seasoning. We had to add a little bit more of that Blanchard seasoning in there to bring it up a little bit. Now we're gonna add the noodles to it. Or some people would call that macaroni. There we go. And that's just one part of them, but we're gonna add them all in there and then you taste your seasoning one more time. And I like to let it all meld together and soak together there for about 30 minutes is what you need for it sitting in there together. So let's put the rest in there and get one more taste. All right, y'all, we got it cooked up. Kyle's fixing to give it the taste test here. Corn, spicy corn mock shoe and brown spaghetti. Gonna try the corn mock shoe first. You got a little yeah. tasso in the mock shoe. Good can job. Tastes a little spice in it. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Not too, too spicy, but it's got a good pick to it. Great. Awesome. Let's see what you like about the brown spaghetti now. That's what I'm talking about. That's real good. Is I like good? that. I is like the that. meat tender? Taste one of those, uh, taste one of those porks there. Let's see how tender that is. What? Oh, yeah. It's tender. Right on the money. There it is. It's ready to go. We fixing the, uh, I believe we got enough food for about 75 people. We're gonna fill some, feed some people here today. Hopefully they'll be happy. And maybe uh, somebody learned something about a brown spaghetti. Hey, I hope y'all had a good time watching the show today. Got to cook with Kyle Blanchard of Blanchard Seasoning. We did some really good oysters. Got to cook my grandma's brown spaghetti recipe. And we did some corn mock shoe. It was a good time cooking. And I hope y'all join us next week on Cajun Living and Cooking. Galvez Hardware and Outdoor Cooking is two unique stores in one. The hardware department has everything you need to fix stuff right. The outdoor cooking section cannot be beaten. We have all the latest and greatest gadgets on the market. But also, we keep a large stock of the tried and tested cookware we've all come to love over the years. Coffee and biscuits every morning during the week, cooking demos on Saturdays, and customer service that will help you get the job done. Dana, we have a flat. That's okay, Weezer. We'll just call Ed's Tire Service. Ed's Tire Service has been in business for 27 years. It's a 24-hour roadside service for on-site repairs. No job is too big or too small. So remember, when you're having tire trouble, call Papa Ed.